Hey guys, it's Brian with Thunder Laser. So um, this is in reference to the uh, lens calibration um, part of Lightburn. And um, the, the first part, let me switch over uh, to Lightburn for a minute. So you've got two things that you have to do in a certain order. And the first one is to calibrate the camera lens. And what this does is removes any distortion from the lens. So I'm going to pick uh, my Lightburn camera. And you have some choices here whether you want to use a preset or use a full calibration. If you use a full calibration, you have to cover the honeycomb uh, with something because it's going to be looking for, I'll show you, it's going to be looking for this page uh, with some dots on it. And it sees all of those cells of that honeycomb as little dots. <laughs> so it goes crazy. Um, so you have to cover the bed. That's why this one works so well because nothing else in this field of view looks like dots except for what's on this page. If you have your honeycomb exposed, that's going to cause problems. Um, but there's no need to do that because you just use a preset. Now, the current cameras that we're using are the uh, 8 megapixel uh, wide 120 and the 8 megapixel wide 85. And those are not yet in this version of Lightburn. This is 1.0.02. Uh, and it's September 22nd. So that, you know, liable to change. I, I gave him a set of uh, values that we had uh, generated. And maybe he'll put those in there or generate some. Um, so since these, uh, the calibrations for your camera is not in there. Um, and, and, and if you need to know about that, uh, go to this article, Thundercam versus Lightburn and other USB cameras. It tells you what camera you need for your laser. We use two cameras, the 4KW85 and the 4KW120. And you just need to know which one of those you have. So, and that's where you're going to pick in these lens correction values. So we'll go here and I'm going to look for the one that's the 120. I've got a Nova 35, so I have the 85 uh field of view. So I'm going to download that and let's go back over here to Lightburn and we're going to go back into the cam Calibrate camera. Uh, actually we're not going to do that. We're going to import uh, a camera setting. So we're going to import and uh, current lens cal is the one that I need. It's in downloads. There it is for the 85. So I'm going to load that and it just brought in settings so that's fine we've done our lens calibration that's all we need to do now we can move to this second part and this is where you're going to select your camera uh, and i've got a video that goes through the rest of this so i'm not gonna you know uh, beat that horse again i'll put a link to that in here or you can find it in the related articles uh, but set up your thing make sure that you have it auto focused if you're going to be using the camera with this thing uh, well, I mean, that's what you're doing is setting up the camera. Uh, you need to use autofocus in conjunction with the camera so that your perspective stays the same. You can uh, sacrifice your accuracy and positioning uh, if the camera is not in the exact same position from the surface of the material every single time. So that's why it's good to use autofocus. Uh, if you look in the Basics of Focus article, there's more on that. The second video talks about how autofocus plays with the camera. Um, if you have any trouble, email support at thunderlaserusa.com. Thanks.